Hi, my name's Amy Gibson. These are the Jesus interviews. I'm sharing with you what I believe are Jesus Christ's responses to my prayers. As he speaks to me, I just write down his words and then I share them with you and you can make up your own mind about this. For conversation, contemplation, this is not advice. I do believe that the Holy Spirit is encasing the words of Jesus Christ to me in my prayers. And so today's video is about world peace for world leaders and I believe that Jesus is reaching out to our world leaders. The wisdom of Jesus Christ to the world leaders. Let this be your legacy. World peace. And each is needed and necessary because peace is better by far, always in every case. Obviously safer, more prosperous, with ramifications of generational healing, positive relationships, health and wealth in perpetuity. And now, will you world leaders who hold the fates and lives of your people, for whom you are responsible, will you dare to speak the words world peace what do you wish for these people? And so unto them is unto you. For truly each world leader is a human being, made of flesh and bone with feelings, experiences, beliefs, philosophies, validated by the experience of life. And let us begin at the beginning. And what do you need? And what do you want? And why? And if you do care for your people, for their well-being, then you do want peace. And what is peace? Is peace more than absence of war? Peace is prosperity, not poverty. Peace is freedom of the innocent to express oneself freely to choose life and to live as one chooses with respect to the other choices and not to judge but share and speak with the intention of solutions and speak the truth with the intention of solutions and please for your own sake remember this your next life will be lived in your declarations and legislations in the least what you decide for the least of these is what you decide for your next life. And war is the opposite of peace, and war will never achieve peace. Peace is a decision and easily made for those who seek it. And then how to defend freedom. World leaders, I ask you now, to unite in mind, body, and soul and speak the words, world peace. And just to speak them for now and need not believe. And again, world peace. And I ask you, world leaders, would you begin your day with the words, world peace, in the mirror? Not yet believing, only the words, world peace. You have the power, which comes with the responsibility to create world peace. With a very simple decision, and this is your legacy. The wisdom of Jesus Christ. And may all people be world leaders. And I appreciate your time.